COA is a nonprofit organization. We opened our doors almost 40 years ago, and our goal is to really help those who fall through the cracks of life. And they're one of the anchor organizations that help the homeless and low income in the city of Long Beach. In a recent audit, it was shown that 87% or 87 cents of each dollar that's donated goes back in to sustain the programs that COA promotes for our clients. We're constantly evolving. We see needs and we're constantly adding every year. But we have five core programs and our, our program that we started over 30 years ago was to serve hot meals. We serve breakfast and dinner every day. We have a food bank on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We have pet food uh, for people, low income and homeless. We started off with cats and dogs and then we found out somebody had a rabbit, so now I bring rabbit food. And we also have a few birds, so I bring bird food. It's for homeless and low income because a lot of times uh, people will feed their pets before they feed themselves. So we're helping people and animals at the same same time. We're very popular. Sometimes people wait outside just for us to come so they can get their animal food. So that's very rewarding. And then we have a clothing and small furnishings bank. We have a diaper bank on Fridays. We have a computer lab that's available for anybody who has those needs. We have seen that legal issues are a huge problem for many people. Sometimes just that little hurdle that they just have to get over in order to go forward. And Doug came into our life. He takes anybody and everybody and that somebody can't afford a legal advice that's what we can it's really amazing how many people don't know where to go for the smallest little issue so I always shake their hand ask their name repeat it and sit down and we go from there I just say what can I do to help you you know I was I was a couple of bottles away from being on the street myself I lost everything when I was drinking I mean every everything the state bar pulled my license lost my car lost my house lost everything so that's why I tell them, these people, I've been in the bottom, you can't give up, they can identify with it. But for me, it's been great. I mean, I really, as an old phrase, we've got to give back. June 1st, 2016, Clark and Atherton opened its doors. It's a vintage and very unique thrift store that supports COA. We have housewares, clothing, typical thrift store things, but we merchandise it in a way that's very appealing and you can kind of see it in your own home. Profits are continuing to increase uh, month by month, so we have a good customer base and they're coming back and finding things that they like. Well, all of our revenue uh, goes to COA. One of the big differences that I noticed when I came here was the, how many volunteers there were. There were 40, 45 people on the calendar for the month, and that's huge compared to um, most thrift stores. And, most of them have just a heart for the cause of COA. I am a long time, lifelong uh, resident of Long Beach, born here, and so my heart is for the city. And uh, I have a heart for the homeless, and so do most of the people here. Our senior days, we try to make everyone feel special. They come in, we have music while they wait in line, and we also have um, basic uh, blood pressure and temperatures. They have a hot, nutritious lunch by cat. Everyone goes home with a bag of groceries, a bag of fresh produce, which is so important, and reading materials. Sometimes I haven't gone back to our office and they're already RSVPing. Our mission statement is to meet people basically where they're at. Meet them, find out their needs, and help them. I always say it's the people that fall through the cracks and that they need a hand up.